Hey guys, let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? I was wrong. I admit it, and I apologize. I ordered this radio from Amazon because it was very fast shipping. I ordered it in the morning and it actually came the same evening. But I was also laughing at it because I thought it was ugly. It might not be the most beautiful radio in the world, but I had no idea. I would like it so much, so we'll have a look at it. First thing is Carson. They seem to have an affiliation with the Tamiya, which I had no idea about. It is a German brand. It feels sturdier and more nice than the cheaper ones like the Dumbo RC. If I turn it on here, you got the battery indicator and everything. This is a kind of cool detail. It's like a braking caliper in here. This uh, radio fits my hands at least uh, really as well. So, again, Carson, I am sorry. We will also have a look at the manual because I thought that was something extra as well. So, here you can see several different languages. So, we'll up and open up here uh, page 12, English. Yes, sehr schön. Yes, sehr schön. Where are we? Here we are then. Included items. Du -du -du -dum. Safety precautions. Operating features of the 2.4 gigahertz. Advantages. Mmm. Nice. All jokes aside, I think it's very pleasing to see uh, such details to the manual towards the crystal, yeah. Uh, when I was growing up, say somewhat 30, 35 years ago, uh, we had these crystals instead of the gigahertz band. Yeah, I mean, everything is uh, straight to the point. Uh, as far as I can tell now, I do recommend this one from Carson. Yes, so that is out of the way now. We will have a look uh, at the build, but I will think that we will start with actually the yeah, I've seen some weird ass memes uh, about uh, crappy pigeon nests. Uh, it looks like my cable management here. So, anyways, yep, there we are. It's the first time I'm doing this uh, kind of, kind of, this rusty look. What I did is I painted the entire body in uh, orange, brown, bronze, gold and a bit of green. I, then I sprayed with water and put some coarse salt on it and painted it blue. Uh, I brushed the salt off and this is the end result. I think it turned out really nice, especially for being the first time. I've dreamed some... Uh, Rusty bits, like there, and there's another hole. Yeah, the coolest sort of rusty um, damage I was most pleased with is <laughs> behind this bumper, so I should of course have taken this one into consideration, but yeah, it is where it is. Uh, you can see here I missed the sticker as well, so all in all, I do recommend that you try out this method. It went far beyond my expe expectations. Oh, this one is nice. Here I used some green uh, along with the bronze and orange gold, brown, and I've dreamed just to make it look like it's scratched. Yeah, it turned out just the way I pleased. I did also print this. Uh, lower bed but i don't think i will use it we'll see it would look more scaly but hmm yeah you never know and if you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes mm, this is it so i 3d printed a seat dashboard and a steering wheel of course i broke this steering wheel off so 
I glued it there with a support now. Also supported the dashboard and the seat is really heavy, but I think it will work. Also, I found an action figure that will fit perfect. There she is, apparently from the DC or Marvel Universe, I don't know. I thought she looked cool and the blue matches the car perfect. She's got bendable knees and arms and everything. Came with a set of two different hands, like a clenched fist and these open ones. And I decided to glue some velcro here uh, to fit her in the car because I wanted to be able to take her out if I wanted to. So we'll see how she looks when she's sitting in the car. She fits really snug in there and the velcro strap it's doing its thing. Ah, I was trying to do some damage here to the windshield with some glue and a bit of a hole there but mm, it turned out so so but otherwise yeah really cool okay now we'll check out the build itself and I must admit very shamefully that not only do I turn 47 next week but I also started a TikTok account so if you want to watch some shorter videos of the build itself, uh, yeah, you can check it out there. Or don't bother because it's a crappy app and site. So the build was pretty straightforward. Uh, no portal axles and locked diffs. I had an old bumper here laying about. Uh, I used it on my TRX4 before. Other than that, there's a lot of plastic parts. The shafts here are, of course, metal. But the steering rod here is plastic and that's nothing that I'm a big fan of. Uh, I went for the Hobbywing ESC. I could have shortened the cables here but you never know if you have to use the ESC or motor somewhere else. Here is the Corson receiver. I 3D printed a small plate here. I was meant to have a back bumper but I removed it because I thought it looked cooler without. I am really pleased with the tires. 1.9 inch beadlocks. What else? Yeah, I 3D printed a small box here as well. There's a Y splitter in here for the lighting and yeah, it looked so messy otherwise. So when it comes to battery, I will most certainly use this one. It's a ZOP power. Yeah. Power. Oh. The great thing about this battery is that it fits like, like I said before, like a fish in a glove. Could have been thicker and I'm not sure if this is a standard length or not, but I'm very pleased. So was this a good build? Absolutely. This is my second crawler, I think, yeah. I built the G-Made R1 before and it's quite similar. But do I recommend this build? Yes, I do. Do I recommend it to a beginner? No. I think you should have at least one car build uh, before this one. Because there were a lot of flaws in the building instruction. Yeah, and here's the usual safety introduction, blah blah blah. Uh, more safety items required, tools, uh, shocks. Here, already on step B. You see here this bushing. It can be replaced by the bearings included, but it's not mentioned here anywhere. So same thing here, bushing, no mention of the bearings whatsoever. Here is the first mention of a bearing and I looked through the instructions before starting to build. So I thought that all the bearings included were needed for later, but as it turned out, you could replace them. So yeah, uh, this happened a few times. In the manual instructions it says 10, 14, 6 millimeters, but in the bag you could find 8, 12 and perhaps 6 millimeters. So these two I think Charisma noticed uh, you could use shorter, but they didn't bother to update the instructions. Yeah, and this is quite funny. Uh, M3 times 8 millimeter, you see the part number here, 148 and 
part number 148 m3 times 8 millimeter but you see the length here quite the difference so that might be confusing for someone building this, an RC car for the first time this page was printed twice so it said rear front rear rear and this was the worst absolutely worst part pre-assemble that factory I saw a video regarding this matter made three years ago so you see the lip here and it's missing here this is assembled wrong from the factory these two needs to switch places and like I said I saw in a video published three years ago and this is still in the manual there was some confusion regarding the holes here but might be my uh, lack of knowledge as well so ah, pretty straightforward okay we'll continue the video and yeah now I'm doing a bit of freehand here but all in all I enjoyed the build it was challenging at some points and here is the other side yeah it looks sweet I am really a noob when it comes to painting but I think it turned out fairly good oil drum and I tried to get that dirty rusty look yeah and this propane tank I am pretty pleased with could touch up on the paint here but I don't know I think it turned out yeah quite okay and also I have printed a small jerry can uh, I painted it red and did some washing on it so it looks a bit used and dirty yeah and then I got these wooden pallets I will paint uh, I think they will look cool on the truck on the bed maybe perhaps with an oil drum laying about or like this yeah we'll see what happens and um, thank you so much for watching and remember kids stay away from TikTok that's just yeah okay take care